Welcome to my trending books where all books trend here. Today I am in day four from seven days of top seven with um, the theme of creative worlds. Um, I think that was, I think I really like that theme of this day because there's some worlds that are really creative but the story is not so great but then or some other books the world and the story is really great together so here's my top seven number one fugitive magic already talked about this already in the first day so I'm doubling up on this book I really like this world I know it's like an urban fantasy so it's basically um, a, a scene from from cities in United States and going to England as well um, I really like the description and the uh, link between the fae world and the underworld vampire world as to say with the human world it really worked really well and it was really great the way they made it number two true witch that's that's also a, a that's a kindle book and and yeah i think the the world again it's an urban fantasy so it's just how the witch is and everybody around it uh reacted to the whole world and for me sometimes creative also is ordinary because if you can take something ordinary and make it extraordinary for me that's really creative and it doesn't have to be in a fairyland to be very creative it's just the way you describe it and the way you make the story makes creative worlds so yeah number three sinful cinderella this is um this is a different take on the classics of the princesses and sinful cinderella is basically the evil i should say or you know the person that was the mean situation and i really like this uh, book because i love the twist that you get with the book that is not the happy dippy book that you get with those stories and you know that get that really dark twist and you wouldn't expect and the world beating number five roar i thought that book um i didn't like the story as much because i thought that the romance was ruining a little bit the story because it was felt forced and the male models were the the male role models weren't that great it was a little bit dodgy i just felt a little bit uncomfortable uh, but the world with the storms and the magic i thought it was really smart and i think that was what really kept me reading the book reading you know the markets and all of that so yeah five the girl in between i really like this because it's a twist again on the sleeping beauty but the girl has a disease that she falls asleep for for days maybe sometimes weeks or months and she goes into the uh, this other realm that she doesn't know does actually exists and the more she stays there the less she's awake and she's in danger of staying there forever but she meets a boy there and all things happen i haven't read it for a while but it's actually a really interesting concept that the girl actually has a disease and falls asleep and then she goes into this other dimension and things happen and um, it's really good yeah number six cruel beauty I really liked the world and the the building of the world because it was very it was very descriptive of the world and around it not so much so much of the continuous of the story i felt the story was a little bit forced for my liking but the world and you know the building and the curse and all of that it was really realistic and it was really beautiful the way it was described so yeah 
well this is that was it for today's video and i'll see you next time bye